special shout out to executive producer Celine for sponsoring Avatar The Last Airbender Reactions. We know you're interested in films, film recommendations, and reviews. So be sure to check out her Letterboxd account at letterboxd.com forward slash the cat lady or just select the link in the description below. Water tribe is under attack. He gonna wake and up all bruised and shit. <laughs> the ocean and the moon are ancient spirits. They crossed over from the spirit world to the mortal world very near the beginning. When you speak Thanks. with him, you must be very careful to show no emotion at all. Not the slightest expression. Or he will steal your face. Oh my gosh. Damn. I can't really even like, wow, it. that's crazy. I can't even do that because he gonna steal my face. Uh, yes. I'd be like, right. No, that's emotional. You can't do that. I'm on your side, but get my face. I finally have you. Oh, they got them tanks, baby. Look at like them tanks. Ugh, this is not looking good. I don't need to remind you. We have a time limit. If we don't defeat the water tribe before the full moon rises, they will be undefeatable. <laughs> of course, that's all behind us. Why should I hold the grudge against you for something in past life? After all, you're a different person now. You've come to me with a new face. Someone is going to kill them. How can I find him? Good. I mean, how is he keeping his face so straight? He trying to make you have some emotion. We and La. What's the fish? The koi fish. Emotion. I must be going now. <laughs> I must be going now. like, what's that emotion? <laughs> get it, babe. Yeah, Master Sensei, get it, man. Yeah. Okay, good. Good thing everybody got good GPS. Welcome back. Good to be back. <gasps> <laughs> wow. I wow. love her confidence, wow. babe. Wow. Hey. Wait, we can't just leave him here. Sure we can. Let's go. Sure. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he said, stay right there. That's why my mother named me Yue for the moon. Oh, I love that. It gave me goosies. I am a legend now. Anybody now get my better? nation needs the moon too. We all depend on the balance. Whatever you do to that spirit, I'll unleash on you tenfold. Let it go now! General going ham! Hey, It can't 
Oh, but it is. That was episode 20 of the Airbender, and you know, I like how they set up that um, season two with um, Zuko mentioning his sister at the end, and then boom, we see his sister uh, uh, at, at the end. But that fight scene um, with Zuko and the other guy, man, he was giving him the business. He is coming into his own, and he actually fighting with emotion, and like he just mean, like uh, revenge, and just vengeance, you know. So that fight scene was good. I like the general coming through. Given the business, which we are, we already know he can throw hands all day. <clears throat> you mean Uncle Ira? Yeah, Uncle Just Ira. Like, yeah, I mean he coming through. We already knew he can throw hands. And then man, everybody, the Water Nation held it down. For, I mean, even if they would have lost, the stories would have went on for eons that they they held a good battle to, to defend what was theirs. And I'm glad the Avatar came through at the end, turned to a damn Godzilla water monster, and got everybody the F up out of there. And it it was just great. That was a good way to end off season one, the long journey for us to get what we got to get to. And then, yeah, it was very sad that old girl had to turn into the moon, but we did need the moon to come back. And I'm glad that the Water Nation decided to go to the south to help out the sister nation and build them back up. And then, boom, giving the water training over to um, Katara. Katara to help out down the airbender. What else can you say? Now I guess we know we're moving on to the next battle, but it's probably going to be an uphill battle to get to the Fire Nation boss because now we got to deal with his sister and her brother all day. So excellent season. I liked it. I'm ready. Um, so much about this episode I loved in correlation with the last episode too. Again, I really love the, uh, the, the moon reference as, as far as it being the source of the water bending power. Um, I absolutely love that it correlated back to the fish, fish, but honestly, what I thought was interesting too, just in reflection, is that that very much could be like Aang and Zuko's uh, roles yang too. Yang. They are very oh, yin and yeah. yang as well, and they yeah, they do. That. And in their working together, they've created less uh, less trauma that could have been had they been you know just going at it. Like there is a balance between that. the yeah. two of them. That. Um, so that like had me geek out too, and I absolutely loved because you didn't we. It's not necessarily something that's been like pointed out, but once the moon was killed, or the the, the spirit of the moon was killed, and it went black and white, mm -hmm. um, the way they use that as a visual to reflect that throughout the episode, I thought was fantastic. Even with like you mentioned when they were fighting, the yeah. the colors only popped when the fire came out yeah. because that was still uh, the result. The, the the fire spirit or the uh, Whatever the the fire still brought out uh, the colors, so to speak, oh, in yeah, the gray. I thought that I thought yeah. that was fantastic. Yeah, I well love done. that uh, Aang tapped into the water or the ocean spirit and uh, uplifted that, and that's how they ended up getting uh, the yeah. the their grounds back against the fire Which nation. Which is what he mentioned earlier. He was like, "I wish I can go to the the." Air, the Avatar part and bring back a damn crazy Avatar that can just help out, which he did. Um, which he did. Which, oh, I mean, he—that's the whole point was to go to find the spirits of yeah. both the moon and the the water. But ultimately, he was able to tap into that. 
Um, and then I thought it was just so beautiful, the story about um, Uwe, Princess Uwe, I think that's how you say her name, mm -hmm. um, as far as like how she was saved and how she was like born and then full circle full on circle like becoming back. it. Like that almost made me want to cry. That's just beautiful. That's just beautiful writing. Just that is back. like so yeah. up my like sleeve of things I want to see. I yeah, love all yeah. of that. That's a good time. And it was great as far as like the reflection on why her hair is white. It just was beautifully done. It was it such a perfect yeah. uh, way to tell that story and a uh, perfect send off. And I just, I love the last scene with the fan like looking over the ocean as far as their next adventure. And then yeah. to your point too, uh, having the first season be about <laughs> water bending and have it come full, cir full circle with Katara, who's been like, wanting to be better and wanting to be able to be you know to tap into that and have so many things that she herself have ran into that's held her back from her ability to be able to do it yeah. and now be the one that she herself gets to teach Aang on how to be a better waterbender the avatar oh i love it yeah. so much yeah, it's so can. good yeah you can't um, get no better than there's, that there's yeah you can't wrap up season one any better than that yeah. that was fantastic i like everybody has grown i everybody am super excited through. uh where it's season two we go yeah we're about to be totally confident in season two so all day we we coming for hate all day yeah so. they um great recommendation again guys yeah. i think it does take some time to get acclimated yeah, yeah, to the yeah. show it's well worth the investment of time and energy. Yes. Thank you, guys. That's that was right. a great season one. Excited to jump into season two. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Avatar The Last Airbender Season 1. And until next time, peace.